For this video, I'm just going to be going over some relics, how to gear, how I gear personally, what you should look for during gearing, um, where to get certain ascension materials, and just everything in general. So this is going to be a longer video here. This anvil here, most of you probably don't know that when you're doing Vita Nightmare runs, you get these down here. You get these items that you can use to craft purple weapons. Second on the list is synthesizing materials and synthesizing relics. Well, for synthesizing relics, you're not going to be able to even see this until you're level 35. And I went over this in a previous video. This is just where you go to craft legendary gear. But to get the materials to actually craft the legendary gear, you have to dismantle other legendary gear. Now, it does only give you back 10. So you'll need to dismantle 10 of these to get one piece hopefully we can probably get this change to give it give us like at least 20 pieces or 15 but 10 just seems like it's a little bit too little granted i've been doing it because the gear that i don't use is going in here or what you could do is the gear that you're not going to use you can just feed into other legendary gear now for synthesized materials some of you have probably came over here once or twice for those who are using the hero shoes that's probably all you're using it for but there is an abundance of things that you can do here now ascension materials for your characters um ascension materials for skills ascension materials just in general i believe majority if not all ascension materials can be basically upgraded here. Let's just use one for example. See how it's the Nightmare Shard, it can upgrade into the Nightmare Crystal and then into the Nightmare Essence. Now you can't craft a Nightmare Shard from nothing. You'll have to get the base to upgrade to the next level. And that's just like how all of these work here. You have to get a base or you could just go ahead and farm it directly. Now one method is to use the base to craft but that may or may not be worth it depending on you. For me personally, it just depends on how much I've been farming that one stage. You guys can see here I have 140 orbs for the wands, but you can dang near get everything here. You got the ascension materials for the knights. Granted, you're gonna show you exactly where they drop to. We're gonna go over all of this in this video. It's gonna be a quite a long video. You got the ascension materials for the knights themselves. And then once your knights get to a certain point, they're actually going to start needing a specific type of material. As you can see, this is ascension type for supports. This is ascension type healer, ascension type dealer. And then where, where's, where's the, where's the other one? Actually, no, I think that's, oh, tank. Where's the tank one? Wait a second. Load it up now. Yep, there it is. Look at this. I don't, I don't even have any. <laughs> once you get them to like around ascension four or five, that is when they start needing their more personalized ascension materials now as you can see on my say here she does only require the nightmare crystals but once you get to ascension four that's when it's going to start needing those personalized items there now where to farm said materials there is two ways to actually craft it first would be as i have told you before if you have any of the previous tier you can upgrade it into the next tier and other method would be if you have an abundance of let's say sword and you don't want swords you want the mask come over here hey i have a bunch of swords you don't want this and the neat thing is too it's not like the other games where it kind of forces you just to use one of the types here you can mix and match now where you do farm to get these materials is going to depend on personal preference as well as where do you want to farm i would recommend farming chapter seven especially if you if you can because i i do believe it drops more exp and other than that there's no real benefit to running the previous chapters especially if they all drop the same type of loot throughout all 12 of the stages there you might as well just be running chapter seven or run whatever you can without any difficulty however it does show specifically you see here weapon enhance accessory gold and then the enhancement books for your knights now the thing is you'll have to actually click to look at what else drops here as you can see this one is going to drop the essential materials for the knights and it drops hey guess what from the highest rarity to the lowest rarity that's why i'm recommending that you guys push that story and uh if you can just do chapter seven because pushing that story it's gonna unlock the stages for you you know you just have them sitting there and the faster you get to adventure level six uh the faster you can you know arm the highest difficulty and even have a chance of getting the highest rarity drop because this is the thing with these stages as you can see i have three these are very scarce now there's a method to actually guaranteeing you get these the method is whenever you do an instance and let's say you complete it you can see the rewards that you get and unlike other games this one doesn't actually take your stamina until you're actually satisfied with your drop so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like real quick we're gonna go ahead and use one of my friends lr and that is another tip right there you want to be using your friend's support 
especially if you are free to play it's just free you get to use it the entire time they are never going to be like oh you've used this character too many times no you can only use that character all day if you want to i'd recommend adding my my friend here <laughs> strongest lr i've used so far you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah just, just 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 add yourself an lr or a sansai or even a sarka yeah i'm just gonna speed this up Now, before I pick everything up, as you can see, this barely dropped anything there. I dropped the Insignia and Truth and some Adventure Records. And as I showed you guys prior to actually running this, we know dang well that's not all it can drop. So let's go ahead and look at the rewards here, even though we saw it on the floor. It did drop an additional abundance of rewards from what we killed previously. We know we got some Hero Records here. We got, you know, Alchemy Stones. And we got some Insignia and Fruits. We actually got three of them. That's not, that's not too bad if we run there. But, however, this is not what we want, right? So, darn, we didn't want this. You can either click the X or you can press the escape. Press escape and uh, hit exit and just leave. And guess what? Your shoes aren't consumed. That's what I've been doing personally. Once you hit level 35 and you're starting to farm your legends, uh, it would be a good thing to start utilizing that back and not just um, accepting whatever you get. Especially if you're trying to level up while gearing. Let's go back in here, see what we could drop here. Now, we were aiming for this, the Goddesses Insignia, but we got three Insignia of Truth if you were to have accepted that, and we also did get the Hero Records there, so that wouldn't have been a bad run. We did get three of these Insignias, which would have been one of the Goddess Insignia, so that, was, that would have actually been a decent run there. Now, for the actual gems, this is something that was asked a whole bunch of times, and um, not even specifically by me, but just in the Discord in general, people just ask this question a lot, because getting these gems aren't by any means easy. If you come to the gems here, it's going to show you what type of scrolls you need for the gems. With the elemental gems, they do drop at specific locations. Let's just go ahead and take a peek here so you guys don't think I'm bullshitting you. As you can see, this one drop at the Tyrant's Fortress, Corrupted Cathedral, the Dark drops at Cursed Holy, Fire drops at Corrupted Outskirts, Abyssal. A lot of them do drop at the Giganton. Giganton? What? A lot of them do drop at the Titans. Ty tyrant? Oh, a lot of them do drop at the Tyrant's Fortress there, but uh, just make sure that you go ahead and uh, look for wherever they drop. They drop at Chapter 7, which is the Fortress. Go ahead and farm that there, because, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a little SE XP, if you will. But for the attack power and the survival stat gems, they do drop in any stage. They do drop in any stat, um, in any chapter, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It matches up with how many chapters we have. Now, the other thing to note is these gems can be either damage or resistance. So don't think that if you craft this, you're going to get damage like me, because that's exactly what happened. And every time I have crafted a light gem, it has been resistance. I've gotten rid of them. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the sage scrolls here. Same thing with gems, except they're not so specific on where they drop. Let's go ahead and look at these sage scrolls here. As you can see, I only have three of the purple. They're a scarce drop. You get these from Nightmare Vita Dungeons. I do believe that you get them from any of the stages there, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Now with the galaxy scrolls, I, I do believe these are only from the tower at the moment. I, I could be wrong, could be completely wrong, but I am fairly certain that these are only from the tower as of right now. As you can see, when I do click on the scroll here, it does show you. Oh yeah, see, Nightmare. It tells you what Nightmare Vitas, they run at the bottom there. And then it does look like if you scroll up as well, it, they do drop in the regular stories as well. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, hey, guess what? This can be found in regular stages. You don't necessarily have to do the nightmare run. You would think that the drop rate is a little bit better in the nightmare runs, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Nightmare runs are for the relics, and the relics do seem to drop a little more consistently than the accessories. We will also be talking about in a moment here. But yeah, you can either get Sage Scrolls from Nightmare Vita runs or from any of the story chapters. Darn, it doesn't even show you. So, how do you go about finding which stage can drop it? Let's go back to our friend PL and let's go ahead and click that scroll because we're going to do this in the video while I'm showing you because I'm answering my own questions as well. So let's go ahead and click the Sage Scroll. Uh, let's just go to Tyrant's Fortress here and uh, let's see where it drops me. See, now drop me at this stage. This is another thing I wanted to mention. A lot of the times when you do pick a scroll or any type of map, it doesn't drop you in at stage one. I noticed that depending on what you click, it'll drop you at a specific stage. So that also is leading me to believe that this stage is where it's more likely to drop or this stage is where it's going to drop. 
but if you do look in the drop table itself, that information is not there. So we do need to make a spreadsheet of this. I don't know how to make spreadsheets, but hopefully someone does. What we're gonna do here to see if it does drop is we're gonna do another run here. Okay, that was a very quick run. Okay, well, it didn't really drop too much of anything. Um, as we can see, recipe, as they like to call it. Uh, well, there you go. That drops anywhere. Cool. But guess what the rarity is? Not what we're looking for. And also, this is not what even we were looking for to begin with. We were looking for this. Age of Scroll. Okay. So, let's back out here, all right? Let's back out here so I can show what I was talking about before about it does bring you to a specific stage because if it wouldn't bring you to a specific stage or brought me to stage nine right let's see let's just go to three right because this would be the theory here if it didn't bring you to a specific stage and just drop to to where you were last located that means if i go to stage seven three and then go back to that scroll and then pick it again it should drop me at stage three since it drops in the tyrant's fortress area however it's going to drop me exactly back at stage nine why? My thought process is it, that's just where it's more likely to drop, but it just doesn't say that in the drop table here. Mm, we're at what? Tyrant's Fortress. Let's go ahead and click it again. And if it's not dropping you at a specific stage, I should be dropped at 7.3 since that's where I had clicked last. However, as you can see, it does not drop me at 7.3. It drops me right back at 7.9. Whatever stage it's dropping you at is probably where it's more likely to drop or just could be I'm looking into it too deep. I don't know. I'm going to need to test this further because this is actually something I thought about yesterday and I didn't even really test it or think too much of it. Let's go ahead and look at a different material here. In fact, can I just go in my inventory and just click items and then find it that way? Let's see. Oh, wow. I can. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and look at the light, for example. Let's click on the light recipes here. Let's see what this drags me. Now, this drags me to stage one. Or, yeah, it dragged me to stage one, but my character... Oh, there he goes. Dragged me to stage one, right? Let's go back to the recipes here. If I could find it. Oh, Lord. Uh, what is this? For dark? Let's see where it drops. Stage one as well. Is this stage one? Let's see here. We're just going to click through them here. Poison. Okay, this is not what we need to look at. Tyrants. Okay. So, with the fire, we're... I think that's blood. It took me back to nine. So for, oh no, not even nine. It took me to eight. With the light and the dark, it dragged me to seven one. And then with the blood, let me go ahead and make sure it's blood. Yeah, with the blood crafting gem or crafting recipe, excuse me, it brought me to seven eight. So I'm gonna need your guys help to confirm this as well. And I'm gonna be confirming it after I finish making this video here, but that would probably be where these are more likely to drop, or it could be that's where they do drop. They don't drop outside of that. That is gonna be something I'm gonna test. The way to test it, you guys should already know by now. Run that stage, I'd say about five times, five, 10 times. See if it drops X pages. Because as we know, there's three that drop here in chapter seven, or that can drop in chapter seven. And that would be the light, the dark, and the blood. So go ahead. I'm going to run this. We're going to run this a couple times offline. And then I'm going to see if it only drops light and dark since it did bring me here from the light and dark recipes. And I'm going to run eight as well and see if it only drops blood. The sage scroll was at seven, nine, not the light scroll. Light and dark are in stage seven, one. The sage scrolls are dropping at seven, nine. The blood scrolls, they drop at seven, eight. Let's go back in here and take a look at some more things here. Uh, so for the crafting gems for the survival ones, they drop anywhere. But right, I'm going to assume they're just going to like bring you at stage one. Let's go ahead and see where they drag us. Yep, see, stage one. But I do believe that I was on stage seven, nine when I did get a survival uh, recipe there. Or not a survival recipe. No, no, it was an attack recipe. Remind me, please, I'm making this video as I go, so I may run over some words here. Okay, so I'm learning stuff even as I'm making this video. That's amazing. Uh, let's see, a scroll, the save scroll, right? Let's go ahead and see where this drags us. It's gonna drag us, of course, we already know where, because you know, it took us there the first time. 
Seven nine. If you guess seven nine, then you won. Now I've learned something. And you guys learned something. Because this is actually something that I just thought of too. I just didn't think it would actually work like that because so many games where they say, oh, it drops in this stage. And then you click on the quest, right? It drags you to the stage, but then it keeps dragging you to the last uh, stage that you did in that chapter. And then you're sitting there like, well, where does it actually drop? Now it does seem like, guess what? We could just do this. And it just drags you right to where it drops. So that's a nice little, you know, thing there. Granted, if it actually works, once again, we're gonna test this here. Let's do this with, uh, with, other, with other things. What is this? Me uh, necessary material for fire gems. Let's see where it drags us. It drags us to stage five. So five is where we would get the fire scroll and gems. And just to make sure that the fire scrolls are here as well, we're gonna look for a fire scroll here. Let's see, blood, blood, attack. We see fire, we see a blood crystal, we see attack crystal, we see attack, huh? Oh, we don't see no fire? Do we not have fire? Oh, okay. It's like that. Well, we're gonna run back to the Jeffy Crafter real quick. All right, let's go ahead. Look here, uh, fire, all right? No, you're blood, okay, you're fire. I don't have a single scroll. Oh, wow. Let's see where you dragged me off. It dragged me to stage seven, five. Let's see if it still drags me to stage seven, five. So with this being the case of it dragging us to a specific stage, let's just go ahead and assume that, you know, my theory is correct. So we're going to go ahead and test that. I know I've said it multiple times, but I need to reiterate because I am demonstrating that these are bringing you to specific stages, not just anywhere. And I'm going to be doing a lot of runs here, so I probably won't be getting sleep tonight. <sighs> the things I do to make these videos, jeez, but I do enjoy this game. And I do enjoy making these videos for you guys and seeing that it's actually helping. So thank you for that. Thank you for watching. <laughs> so that's going to be it for the gems there. Cause that, there you go. You got the, you got the complete rundown. Yeah, you, you, you saw it on the spot. You saw it on the spot. You know where to get your stuff now. Whatever stage it drags you to, make that note. Boom. That's where it is. Boom. That's where it is. Boom. That's where it is. And this works for both the uh, gems here and for the sage scrolls as well. Now, next things next. Make sure you are daily running through these stages. What do I mean by that? You see how my character's running like this? That's exactly what I mean when I say daily running through these stages. Run through all the areas, run through every nook and cranny. Why? Because when you do run over a stage, sometimes you don't have to really run over it. You could just, oh, there it goes. See, hey, I got something there. Now, sometimes you could just sit your screen here and it, it will pop up, but the guaranteed surefire way to just like get it to pop up is just to run through the map here through the map see if you find any little piggy see if you find any gold any materials just lying around here this is all i like to start off my day when i get on the game or end my day start and end actually because i do it both times and or you could even do it in between runs because it's i don't believe it's a set timer for it where it's like oh well you found two question marks here wait six hours no it doesn't seem to be like that but let's go ahead let's walk through this stage i did this about two three hours ago so let's go ahead and see if there's anything new to drop. Let's see nothing, 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 nothing. We're gonna go ahead and just walk through the whole stage here just to make sure I'm really showing you guys what I'm doing here. And we're gonna go to the bottom here. Oh, there you see, I got some mouse, purple. Boom, this is how I've been getting my godness insignias. I'm not even gonna hold you. Literally all four of these have came to walking through the stage. I get them more from walking through the stage than I do running the dungeon. How about that? <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go to chapter five. All right, chapter five. Let's walk down here first. Nothing. And I'm not gonna walk through the rest because you guys get the gist of what I'm doing here now. But that's another way to get some more materials as well as to find pigs and to find the crab that you could use to get some weapon upgrade materials as well as accessory upgrade materials. Now, oh, gem slots. As you guys can see, I only have five of these. These are scarce. They do come or they do look like they come in abundance as you start to play the game and you know get to chapter seven but then you realize quickly that that is not the case and you should start saving these because yes they they don't really drop that often like anything else we're going to click this here and we're going to see what stage it brings us to and gladly or hopefully it's gonna not bring us to stage one it didn't bring us to stage one it also brought us to stage nine i thought this one might be capped but who knows we're gonna run this stage a couple of times we're gonna run stage nine a lot because a lot of the good stuff was dropping at stage nine. The Sage Scrolls, and now those, the, the, the materials that you use for sockets. We're gonna get back to y'all on that, because you know, I'm finding this stuff out as I make this video. So anyway, let's come back over here. Other thing I would recommend is like a must do every time you log on this game before you do anything. Come to this little lady right here and go to take a look at the night missions. 
Now, a question that has been popping up is the fact that they can't see this tab. That's because you're not far enough in the story yet. I believe it unlocks at chapter six, like the end of chapter six. Could be earlier than that. Don't quote me because my memory's hazy because I, I unlocked this long ago. Yeah, as you can see, I can't even go in there because I've already, I'm already done. But here's an alternative way that you could do it as well. Come over here, go to this tab. This is your dailies tab. You get 120 gems a day. That's, that's a 320 as well as materials, right? The base materials. So this is actually something you guys would like to make sure you're doing every day. Getting materials as well as getting some gems and some, well, needless to say, pocket gems. The second thing I would like to notate for you guys is every time you log on, come to this little lady over here and buy out her shop. This does reset daily. As you can see here, refreshes in the next two hours. That's that reset. It's refreshes daily. Just come here, start buying food. Another thing I would like to recommend to, for you as well, don't worry too much about elemental food. I'd say, you know, just, just craft the first three. Craft the first three, especially attack and HP. Now, I said don't worry too much about these foods, but you can do whatever you want, right? But if you haven't really been buying food that much, then you probably won't have the materials to really craft these. As you guys can see, I can't even craft these myself. And this is a whole nother ball game of farming a stage for this, right? So we're not we're not gonna really touch up too much in this, but you see here, some ingredients require you to craft other ingredients that require ingredients that are farmed in specific stages, just like the sage scrolls, just like the gem scrolls, the gems, gems for the gems to craft the gems. That was a tongue twister. You just go over here, click on it, right? Click on it. And it's gonna most likely bring it to the states that drops it, right? I'm pretty sure we're all on the same page of just click the material and then click wherever it shows. It's probably gonna drop you to exactly where it drops. That's that for the cooking side. Just uh, make sure you go ahead and get your get your things from her daily. What about this chick? Huh? I mean, I don't think she really has anything. Let's go ahead and look at her. Oh snap! I forgot about these, but these reset weekly. So there's nothing like materials, especially when you have to go to buy it. Go to it weekly. Top of the morning, top of Monday or Sunday. I think the game actually goes by Sunday instead of going Monday to Sunday. I, I don't, I don't keep track of the days. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> Other thing I would recommend for you to do, which a lot of you are probably gonna hate me by saying this, is uh, yeah, guess what? Huh? Go ahead and do your arena. And for only one reason, if any at all, you need at least damn near 5,000 points to get it. And it's the tunic. Most of you are probably not going to farm it, but yeah, you want this tunic. It's just better base stats and then those base stats, you know, it's just better stats in general. But the higher stages that you do go in PvP, you do start getting more crystals of fate here. I believe uh, if you do count all of these crystals of fate, that's dang near over 20 pulls well over 20 pulls just on this alone but it is quite the grind and they did come up with the update today where you do get more so you're not only getting five a victory you're getting like tens to 15 a victory so that's that's very good if you win all 100 matches a day that's 14 that's a thousand to a thousand four hundred depending on your tier or depending on whatever i have no idea what the factor is for the points but that's basically four days of doing all of your arenas and even if you were to lose like say mm, 20% of them, even if you were to lose 20% of them, because you still gain when you lose, you'd still be able to buy or not buy, you'd still be able to get to the tunic because it's four days, 100. It's not dropping, it's not giving you 10 specifically. Well, then again, I can't really say it's not going to give you 10 because some people might get 10. I've heard some people say they're even getting eight. So if you get, run off that and take that from there. Ar ar argue with yourself, not me. Eleanor like Andy. That that's all she's there for. Now this guy, Lionel, it's just guild. If you don't have a guild, go ahead and join one. My guild has a lot of people, or pff, my guild needs people, I should say. I don't know why I said I have a lot, we, we don't have anything. You can join my guild if you want. Go ahead and drop your name in the comments there and I'll give you guys first prio over anybody. But the main things I would recommend to buy from here would be really the adventure books because you're gonna be leveling up all your characters, right? And then the relic stones. I wouldn't say to prioritize the weapon ones. I'd say the relics because with the relics, you're always upgrading them, right? You're always trying to see what those stats are. You're always trying to min max those stats. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this out because I can, or I can't buy it out, but I can buy what I can buy. I was buying fine leather at first, but then I kind of realized I was like, wait a second, this is only giving me one. I can farm this and it drops like one to five pieces. No. <laughs> 
so i'm not wasting it on that no more but yeah definitely make sure you're actually getting your crystal of fate every time or every month because it looks like this refresh is monthly make sure you're getting your crystal of fate it's a free fate every month which i'm i'm kind of curious as to why it's one a month for the guild it's kind of ugh. it's kind of yikes especially since there's no upgrade in the guild tier loot now one of the major things that i've been asked about is my gear people have been wanting to see my gear now what a lot of people don't understand the only person that is actually geared and i'm going to reiterate that geared is my sansar hp gotta run the hp crit damage hp light crit damage everyone else is kind of half-assed look at this they might have legendary sets on them or they might you know have fragmented legendary sets on them but majority of them are not upgraded not upgraded come over to my lucian he doesn't even have he doesn't even have legendaries her she has blues my Saya has blues not even upgraded and i recently took something from you and i think i put it on sarka i i did put it on sarka give that back please thank you very much this is my pvp unit yep take that back yeah but as you can see only one of my characters is actually juiced and i am adventure level 7 master book level 41 at this moment and i'm clearing everything with ease without having but having everybody completely juiced out cracked out now i don't know if you guys have watched my previous video where i said the sweet spot for leaving characters is level 50 it's definitely level 50 as you can see my Auden is level 60. you can push to level 60 if you want but the sweet spot to know if you're going to use a character or like to see what kind of potential they have it would be 50. leave them at 50 and then start hard prioritizing who's your dps for me let's let's be for real sometimes my queen she's always gonna be the, the first to get priled here now this is the thing as you can see my sansar is not fully maxed here i don't intend to max her anytime soon for two reasons one this is a pain in the arse to farm i'm just gonna be honest with you and two that's a lot of gold i'm not trying to spend damn near a million gold because i know it's gonna cost a million gold to get her there okay i'm lying it's not gonna cost her a million gold to get her there if we include the level or if we include the incension right boom bam boom then we include the leveling up it's probably gonna be like three four hundred k and if we include the equipment and upgrading all this to that to 80 then yes it would be well over a mil probably a mil and five hundred thousand if we're being honest here i'm not doing all that right 80 is a nice spot to leave them shoot even 70 would would have been a nice spot to leave her at because guess what the relics carry they, they really do get them substats and i'm going to show you how i actually gear right now as you guys can see crit damage beat energy life steal rate i mean for whatever reason she she just loved life steal rate so i just i just kept getting it so you know i i just love her have it i would have preferred to get majority hp and attack and crit damage but i, I got life steal rate like the life these are some good pieces for Auden. i'm probably gonna switch it over to Auden at some point whenever i get pieces that have crit damage hp and crit damage or crit chance for substats but uh yeah he's based on such stats and some of you were asking for the actual you know statistic sheet here there's that 130 crit damage 60 percent uh, lifestyle rate, lifestyle chance, 20, uh, Vita energy, you know, not really anything too special here. There, these stats aren't anything too crazy here, light damage bonus, nothing too crazy there. I've been, um, sleeping, or not sleeping, I've just been lazy with the accessories because the accessory bosses actually take longer to kill than the nightmare bosses, which is kind of weird because you would think the nightmare is just like, oh, super end game since they also do drop the most EXP in the game. However, they can be killed in under 30 seconds, whereas accessory bosses well they, they take too damn long for no reason even with the proper element that they're weak to it's, it's kind of weird they're more like raid bosses <laughs> i feel like that should be some guild content or something jesus but no now let me show you how i upgrade my gear there are a bunch of level threes you guys are probably already getting out what i'm about to do here is the epic seven strat of you know leveling your gear so if you guys have played epic seven or if you've even played honkai star rail you already know what this method is let's use this piece because this is this looks like a very nice piece it has a high roll it has a high roll attack and ignore defense rate so what we're gonna do here come in here go over here two four I hopefully hit something with crit tenacity and hp these are actually both really good stats for any unit tenacity because that determines how many hits you can take before you get staggered hp because well everybody and everybody can use hp this would be a nice sansar piece though excellent sansar piece it's actually mid roll i did say high these are mid rolls this is the high roll it is what it is though uh let's get it to five see what it hits here hopefully ignore it hit attack i'm not mad about that 
I would prefer to ignore HP since I did want this to go on Sansar, but okay, already off the rip. It went to attack, so it's not gonna be a Sansar piece anymore. Now, even though it is part of a different set, now, even though it is a part of a different set here, what I'm going to do is, like any of my other characters, I'm gonna make it a broken piece. Let's look at Nyan. She's gonna run on center set. You know, there's four slots. The last slot's gonna be that piece there that rolled the freaking attack hp tenacity this would also be a nice nyan piece too except uh not with the ignore defense rate but the other two are fine but yeah do it on her that's what i would do there boom that upgraded as i go second it hits a stat you don't want a strike number one if it goes into that stat twice get rid of it don't invest unless it is let's say a percent piece and you're not getting that specific piece as you can see, I got heal on her. I have a whole bunch of others that have heal, so now I can really replace this if I really wanted to. But let's say if you were looking for cooldown reduction or even guard rate, because as you can see, I only had one guard rate. We're looking down, we don't see any other guard rates. If you only have one of that piece, go ahead and full upgrade it. Full upgrade it. Don't even matter what the stats are. Full upgrade it. You're going to be using that piece for a while. Let's be for here. The odds of you getting that perfect statted percent of what you want for that piece when it comes to the percents, you're gonna be farming those for a while. <laughs> so for the static ones, that's when you can really min-max. For the percents, just throw whatever the heck that's on them. As long as the substats aren't complete dookie. What would be trash um, substat, which I'm not gonna say actually trash, but le less desirable would be stamina. Wait, now I can already see you guys about to rage at me in the comments. The reason I said stamina is because the Vita energy. You get that Vita energy and you can just spam your skill. You can just spam your skill, spam your ult. You don't really need stam unless you're running characters like Sansar, LER, or the shield characters. And even then you're not really running stamina on them because most of the times you're praying. You're not sitting there holding your shields like it's Dark Souls. Even if it's Dark Souls, you don't do that. What do we do? Dodge roll or praying. Majority of us are not sitting there with our shield. Let's be real here. Come on now. Keep it moving. So really, you only want to be building stamina on characters that you're going to be using the hold ability a lot with. So, hey, Santia, Sansar, Auden. I always butcher her name. Spoiled Princess. Adarice. That's such a pretty name. But that's pretty much it for the gear side of things because now I would show you what the upgrade skills are for Sansa here. As we can see, boom, bam, boom. Guess what? It's another one of these. I don't know why I said I would show you. I, I am showing you. Let's go ahead and click on this and see where it drags us. I'm not farming you. Why? This right here. 380. No, I want maximum EXP. I'm trying to hit 45. Three, wait, what? 380? Huh? Wait a second. My eyes deceive me? 380? Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. Is this a discovery? Three se- Ah. Ah. Uh, all right, so I can actually farm this. Good for me. At A7, Nightmare Fortress and Nightmare Roots has the same EXP rate. So once you get to A7, you can start farming this set in Forest or Fortress. My bad. I don't know why I kept saying Forest. Fortress, if you really wanted to, because guess what? Boom. It's dropping the same amount of EXP. 600, 6,840. Yeah. So I'm going to start grinding Fortress. Oh, wow. Okay. Now the other thing here, why I'm rushing um that level, because some of y'all might wonder why I'm rushing that level here. So when you click on the adventure level here, it shows you... Well, it says the master, but can go up to level 40, uh, 55, but here it actually shows you the exact number here. So when your master book level reaches 45, you must complete the corresponding master book ascension mission to further increase the master. Well, anybody knows that you have to do a mission to basically get to the next tier of adventure level. Now, this is the thing, right? Once your master book reaches the maximum level, master of book EXP will be converted to gold that sounds marvelous to me as a person who's been perma refreshing their stamina and not worried about pools because i have every unit in the game besides edward and lr this is good because i'm gonna be farming my ass off with this one and i'm gonna be getting gold on top of it so that's another thing to look forward to for those of you who are you know rushing 45 like i am here i'm just perma rushing my roots until i hit 45 and then once i hit 45 that's when i'm gonna be running whatever the heck i want however I will not be using my hero boots. I don't know. Like, I do understand. I don't, I won't need my hero boots anymore, but I just feel like it's still a waste to do it. I'm capping. I'm probably going to be using my hero boots anyway, because I'm going to be refreshing stam out the wazoo. So who am I kidding? I'm going to be using my damn hero boots. Don't believe that bullshit. Um, I do believe there may have been like one or two things that I have missed. Uh, well, let's see here. We talked about the gems. Uh, we talked about the sage scrolls. We talked about where to get all the materials. Just click on it. And it's gonna drag you to where it is 
Same with the scrolls, the elemental scrolls. You click on it, it's gonna drag you to where it is. That's basically what's going to happen majority of the time. You click on it, and it's gonna drag you to the stage that it drops. It's just not gonna show it in the drop table as far as the gems are concerned. And as far as the material that you need to socket your equipment, you're not gonna show in the drop table. But actually for that one, we can go check because I actually didn't check it. So let me not just say shit and then it actually does show it. Forget it, I couldn't find it in my inventory. So we're just gonna come to the old man here. Like there's no way that I don't have this in my inventory. Let's go back over here. I'm gonna find this damn thing. Sawtooth, sawtooth, sawtooth. It was like a, a like a swirl thing. This thing, oh. No. Wait, does it really actually not show when you look in your inventory? That is insane. It was a blue item too, was it not? It actually, oh wait, here it is, boom. It brought us to a seven nine last time or seven eight. It was seven nine percent Yep, look at the drop table. It doesn't even show it. But we shall make a spreadsheet or I'll, I'll try to get someone to make a spreadsheet based off of this information or if one of you guys want to make a spreadsheet, that'd be amazing. I was going to drop the link for the Discord for Astronites because I noticed um, a lot of people probably aren't in the Discord that watch this video. And like you guys, I do watch YouTube and a lot of the times when people be like, oh, in the Discord, in the Discord. However, they don't drop the Discord link in the description. So I realized I'm like referring or referencing the Discord quite a lot. And I, I'm not like giving you guys a link to the Austria Discord. So I'm going to leave that in the comments or not the comments. Well, actually, yeah, I'll leave that in the comments as well as the description down below. Probably missed some things or I probably made you guys more confused. Hm. Well, I just want to get the information out there as usual. Do with it what you will. I don't claim having found any of this information like first or by myself or anything just to throw it out there because i know uh some people might get that type of idea but yeah just to throw it out there no these are all things that i've either seen asked in the discord or i did at some point be like oh well how does this work how does that work and i just took the time to do it while i was making the video because you guys will see see me doing it see me learning as well so i'm learning you guys are learning that's what i situation but that's gonna be it for this video guys <laughs> get out of here